Thank you for downloading and happiness. Dare to be happy. We are two curious friends that want to explore what makes us happy. In each episode, we will take a topic in alphabetical order and discuss how it relates to and impacts happiness. We will live the experience of each concept through a dare that we set each other and then talk about how it affected our happiness. As well as diving into psychological theories and evidence which supports or contradicts our personal experiences. In other words, in this show, psychology meets play. I'm Kitty Newman, Director of Trapeze Media, a digital marketing agency that leads with social. My company philosophy is based on the importance of play in all our lives and how important it is to be happy at work. I have been obsessed with the circus for a few years, hence the name Trapeze Media, and making time for things like handstands and aerial in amongst the day-to-day challenges that come with running a successful business makes me happy. My name is Claudia Mitura. I'm a work psychologist and learning and development specialist with a purpose to boost happiness in the workplace. I love experimenting and applying scientific research on happiness to my daily ups and downs, or just to prove my other half wrong. I also like to look for happiness in unusual places, so I won't shy away from diving with sharks or starring in a pantomime. Sometimes this gets me in trouble. All right, Kitty, welcome to episode seven of Happiness. Yes, do you know I can't wait for this one. I know, you've been so excited about this uh, topic of uh, G for gratitude and happiness. And our day was to send each other a voice message with something we are grateful for every single morning. And you were really not looking forward to it. Yes, I wasn't, to be honest. Um, I was a bit skeptical, but I loved it. <gasps> Oh, me too! I loved it. Uh, But through your experience of sharing various things that you're grateful for, how would you define gratitude? Thinking of something that you appreciate and are thankful to have in your life. Mm, I love that, yeah. So this entire idea of shifting from maybe things we don't have, from things we cannot do, to things that we actually have and things we can do. So really shifting us from negative to positive. Have you noticed that shift from positive to negative during the day for you? Definitely. I found it brilliantly helpful, forcing me to think of something positive, especially in the morning. I know, I have exactly the same experience, but it was tough sometimes. I need, as you, I needed to have a space to stop thinking and really concentrate on it. I don't think I struggled with it every day. Some days I would just wake up and be like, wow, that's so brilliant that this thing's happened. And sometimes I'd see it really quite clearly. But there was definitely one day when everything I thought of, I was like, no, you're just bullshitting there. But as soon as I got to the real thing that I did feel truly grateful for, then I did feel much happier and I felt better about things. Mm. For me, it was definitely kind of the longer we've done it, the easier it was getting. So on Monday, when we start doing it, I completely actually forgot about it. And I only got reminded when I received your gratitude and it was actually late evening. And then the next day, I was much more on it. And by Friday, I was consciously spotting things that I can be grateful for. So I kind of like, it was a little bit of a journey for me and it got easier, even that As you said, on certain days, it was quite difficult to be truly grateful. Sean Acker is an American happiness researcher, and in his book Happiness Advantage, he describes a phenomenon called Tetris Effect. Have you ever played Tetris? Yeah, yeah, that is Tetris. Tetris effect occurs when you spend so much time and attention on something that it starts changing your thoughts and mental images and behaviors. So it is named after the people who start seeing the Tetris blocks around them because they've played the game for too long. Oh, wow. 
So people start kind of fitting buildings together, objects together. They simply see how everything fits together because they play Tetris for so long. So Sean Anchor says that gratitude has that power for our brain. That if we engage in gratitude exercise, like we did with our dare, two things will be happening in your brain. So first of all, you will be forcing your brain to scan the last 24 hours for potential positives. You'll be thinking, okay, I need to reflect back because there, I need to share one thing that I'm grateful for. And the second thing that will happen is your brain will start to recognize positive outcomes when they arise in your life because your brain will be like okay this is positive let's make a note of this so that later on I can be grateful for it Mm, wow I remember making up on the first day and knowing very clearly what I felt grateful for on that morning because I was I was prompted by a couple of texts or something and I was like oh that is so special on a Monday morning and then I think it was on like Wednesday or something. Things were going a bit wild at work. It was being a bit difficult. But then I could, I, I actually was really grateful for past challenges because I wasn't stressing about them right now. And so that maybe would have been, I don't know if my brain would have thought in that way had we not been doing this challenge. I, actually, I'm, I'm positive my brain wouldn't have worked in that way because why would I have thought about how different I am now to then and how grateful I am for that past experience. So definitely. Mm. That's so amazing. I love, I love hearing that. <laughs> um, and what's even more mind-blowing is that um, this change is not only cognitive, so it's not only around our perception, but there are now studies that show that the mental practice of gratitude are even able to change and rewire our brain at the structural level. Whoa. So the certain parts get strengthened, additional neurons connections get put in place in certain parts of our brain as a result of having that mental practice of gratitude. Then the outcome for us is that we are able to identify positive outcomes and concentrate on positive outcomes much more quicker so that Tetris effects become stronger. So even in difficult situation, like you're saying, when you were, you know, stressed, there were wildness happening around it, you still were able to recognize certain aspects of it for which you can be grateful for. Oh, wow, that actually works. (laughs) And in such a short amount of time too. Yeah, that's true, because we are, we've done, let's say, four, five days of the mental gratitude. And I must say, today I didn't send you anything, but I was already thinking, oh, what am I grateful for? I was already scanning my environment and my emotions and everything that's happening around that gratitude. So I'm just curious, so what emotions have you experienced? How did it make you feel this dare? This has been my absolute most favourite dare and it made me feel happy every day. I think it helped a lot that I was sending them to you. One, that I was held accountable and I had to do it. And two, I really took pleasure in like hearing what you were telling me. I enjoyed sending you what I felt, how I felt. Every single part of this was wrapped in absolute joy. Yeah, I can just, yeah, I'm just closing my eyes trying to sense all of this positive, (laughs) positive emotions. And I'd be giggling to myself. It was really fun. All the things that we were grateful for were really beautiful things. And none of them were object things that we were grateful for. They were all to do with people or experiences, which was really lovely. For me, one aspect is that I definitely felt like blessed like content through the exercise so experiencing all those positives definitely fun and as you said sharing that morning with you and knowing what you're up to and how you feeling and hearing that you are happy was making me happy gratitude really seems to be the super power emotion that unlocks the door to happiness There is just a 
absolutely just gazillion number of studies on positive effects of gratitude and on our happiness. So number one is that gratitude definitely makes us happier. Even if you're journaling for five minutes a day, there is actually studies that show that your long-term happiness increases by over 10%. I used to do this diary which I used to only put in great things that happened, fun things. I would never put my feelings out. I wrote that diary for six years and it would have all of the great things that happened and I stopped writing it. I should do that again. (laughs) Absolutely, you should come back to it. You have a chance of enhancing your long-term happiness. The gratitude also help us to be more optimistic. And again, it's because we're concentrating on positive, but... As a result, people also report increased life satisfaction and self-esteem. And then another one, which is quite, I felt was quite interesting. There are studies that show that the gratitude leads to improved sleep and there is a decrease in your blood pressure. Interesting. Did you sleep better this week then? I was trying to think about it and... I'm not sure on this one. I think I would need to test it out a little bit more simply because I didn't have a baseline. I didn't know how well I slept last week. But in the study, they researching the concept that when we are feeling grateful, certain parts of our brain gets activated that leads to create a more relaxed body state. And because we're more relaxed, we, our pressure is decreased. And because of that, all together, we are able to sleep better. Now, what kind of benefits, if any, have you recognized in your close uh, relationship as a result of being grateful? The people that I interact with at the moment are far and few between. I have my housemates that I interact with and I have my work colleagues that I interact with. Outside of that, I just phone friends. Um... How have my relationships benefited from this? Well, I I mean, me and you have had a great time this week. (laughs) That is true. (laughs) I'm not sure because there have been some moments where I've been very wound up and frustrated this week and have felt that I'm going to act like a weirdo in front of the housemates and I know that I'm about to project something onto them that's nothing to do with them And I've taken myself out for a walk and phoned a friend. And then by the time I've got back, it's absolutely fine. I'm not sure it's got anything to do with the gratitude. I'm not sure. No, 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 no. I'm just just interested in in your experience. There are studies that show that expressing gratitude can help us to improve our relationships. And that is, again, because when we're grateful, we also concentrate on the positive things that other people do. And we express that towards them, which of course has a positive effect on them. So I was just wondering whether you've noticed anything of that sort in in your relationships this week. And as you said, our relationship was great because we definitely boosted each other's happiness. I definitely felt very grateful towards my other half. And was expressing that to him and hope that boosted his happiness. So I think definitely it has a potential to has also positive impact on other people. Well, now that you've said that, I'm thinking that part of my gratitude, because I'm definitely wanting to continue this now, I'd actually continue sending you them and receiving your gratitudes every morning because I actually loved it. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. This is the dad that's going to continue forever. Yeah, and I think everyone listening should choose a gratitude buddy and you should send each other your gratitudes. Oh, I love that. A gratitude buddy. That's so good. That's, oh my God, that is amazing. Here we go. <laughs> But now I'm thinking I write down the people in the house's names and I write down things that I'm grateful for, for them, so that I can shake off any of these ridiculous things that are nothing to do with them in terms of, you know, and start to project some more gratitude towards them. I definitely in the past did this exercise where sometimes when we are low and we tend to concentrate more on negative, we pick up on the things that annoy us in other people's behaviour. And 
uh, definitely gratitude in the past helped me to combat that. So then instead of thinking about everything, I may be annoyed or angry if or upset with that person. I was trying to think about the things when they were amazing towards me. They helped me out. They supported me. All the little things that they do that are so amazing and I don't see them at that specific moment. So I think it could be a little bit of an antidotum to help us to see the person in a more rounded picture and don't forget the positives that people bring to your life even if at a certain moment you might be upset or annoyed with them. Something to try out, Kitty, next time. Yeah, I think I will definitely do that. And what about your work? Any impact of gratitude there? Oh, well, we had a team Zoom party and nice and i it was really important to me to express my gratitude to everyone in the team because i really appreciate how much i wouldn't be where i am or like not me but the business wouldn't be where it is um without their help and they all do so much and i am very grateful to them so we had a little zoom party Invited a goat along to the Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you took that suggestion. I love that. I loved it. <laughs> if if you don't know about the goat, you can invite a goat to your Zoom meeting. It's insane and amazing. And also, I was really grateful for all of them, you know, going along with it and and talking in the Zoom because those things can be so awkward. And often I'll find that I run away. I get overexcited and keep talking talking but actually they were all talking to each other and everyone was getting on really well and I was really grateful to just be able to sit back and let everyone have a nice chat and not talk about work and yeah that was great I was very grateful for that and when you express that gratitude to your colleagues how did they feel well I think that it wasn't such a big deal I think that they were just like yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> to be honest I think the best way to show gratitude to the people that you work with is to give them good job and good money and say thank you but really I think it comes down to uh, the work but thanks is also appreciated yeah i think saying thank you to colleagues at work is very important because as employees we want to be valued we want our work to be valued and in the midst of everything happening you may forget to say thank you and take the work that they do for granted so i think that's very very important um but yeah again there is so much research uh, that gratitude actually enhances your uh, managerial skills because you are more likely to give praise and motivate employees and also more act in a role of a mentor and a guide rather than actually as a manager and similarly what i've said um before is it helps people to feel valued so in organizations where gratitude and respect is implemented through various levels, then the employees are feeling more value. Gratitude really seems to be a superpower that can be incorporated daily into our lives very easily because it, it wasn't that time consuming. It was quite quick exchange of this is what I'm grateful for, but we really experienced lots of various benefits from our brain being much better in uh, spotting positive emotions and positive outcomes to all these amazing feelings of being blessed and happy. My question is, therefore, why we are not engaging in feeling grateful more regularly? What's stopping us? Is there some sort of self-deprecation type thing? Like, you don't deserve that. Why are you saying you're grateful for this? It's something where we put ourselves down or we belittle it. And so we don't acknowledge it because we already feel like, oh, I shouldn't be being grateful for that thing. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that that could be one of the things that holds us back. As you say, if we believe we don't deserve something, then we probably less likely to be grateful for it. For me, I was definitely skeptical about gratitude because this natural negativity bias. 
So our brain is wired up to constantly look out for dangers and risk and alerting us of anything happening. This is this classic thing when we do 99 things right and one thing goes wrong at the end of the day, we'll remember the things we did wrong, not the 99 things we did absolutely fantastic and we smashed them. So in that situation, gratitude is opposite to that. So it might be feel a little bit counterintuitive of how we usually think. Do you think we're hardwired to be like, life is hard, it should be difficult? Yeah, yeah, okay, so good things happen, but really, life is difficult. Exactly, it's a little bit of, oh yeah, yeah, but maybe something will happen and this will go away. You better watch out. <laughs> I don't know if you experienced these. There are two other ones which are quite interesting from the research. One is the process of, they call it habituation, but really what it means is that the more often we encounter something, the less interesting it becomes. So this is why we have, have natural tendency to take things for granted. Our brain is excited if something is new. It's new and shiny and adventurous, etc. But if you have something in your life consistently, you kind of get desensitized to it. So we need to think about the everyday gratitudes. Of the little things that we have. The little things, yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly what we were sharing. We're sharing thoughts about the friends and people around us that, well, you've known them for years. You have them in your life for years. But you took, you chose to take a pause on that specific morning to be grateful for them. Okay, another additional obstacle to gratitude could be a sense of entitlement. That was, I found that one quite interesting. So if you're one of those people who are actually on opposite, you believe that you deserve everything, why should you be grateful for it? Oh, wow. That's the opposite of what my initial reaction was. I thought that people wouldn't feel like they deserved it. I mean, obviously there's opposites to opposites. So if there's one, there's the other. There's a research that shows that people who are ungrateful tend to have a sense of excessive self-importance and arrogance. So again, they take things for granted because they believe they deserve them. Therefore, why they should be grateful for them. Mm. So I was thinking recently about people growing up. I think because I've been seeing a few animations around different types of people and from different backgrounds growing up, either in the same place and how their experiences are different. If you take one kid who's got like everything that they could possibly have, and I know people who's, who have children who would be parents who could give their kid anything they wanted, but they don't, they choose not to. And that's, I think, a very important thing about bringing somebody up. They can't, if you just have everything given to you when you're young, you then be, learn to expect that. And then this, the ungratefulness is born from that. If you don't give someone everything, they can look back and be grateful for X, Y, Z. If you grow up with everything, what do you look back on? You've got to keep going up and up and up, or I don't know, but I can see that element of gratitude being so important in how you bring up your kids or like how you impact your entire psychology of like of life what would be your advice of how people can be more grateful well i love i love the idea of people having an accountability buddy and i'm pleased to that you're still on board with sending each other our gratitudes so that that would be that would be one thing and also writing them down but then actually to how to do it I couldn't do it in amongst other things I had to stop and do it and it didn't take me very long I would be thinking about it in the back of my mind for a bit but I couldn't ever completely focus on one thing until I just took a second to stop and think about what it was and I would definitely write it down or do a voice note to solidify it and get it out into the air that really concreted, that's not a word, that really solidified it in my head. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on it. I think if you do it with other people, it becomes even more special, if you can. And then it's just practice, practice, practice. There will be, in the beginning, it may feel a bit strange, as you said, a little bit fake maybe. 
uh, but with the time it can get easier. There will be also days when you really don't want to feel grateful, but on those days, I think we need it the most. So on specifically on the days when I struggled to feel grateful, those were the days when the impact of that gratitude was the strongest for me. Once I was able to put myself in that mindset, I felt so much more happier. And actually I was able to realize that I was frustrated or angry or upset about something. And that's why it was difficult for me to be grateful. So it's just practice, practice, practice. Anything else you'd like to share or shall we wrap up? No, it's good. I mean, I would just say that this is my absolute most favorite week. I haven't, I've I've enjoyed all of the tasks because they've always, I've learned something about myself from all of them. But this one was the one that actually I had no doubt in my mind when we started that this was going to be really fun every single day. And it was just a real brightness to the day. And I definitely will carry on. And you persuaded me and I was very skeptical in the beginning. So well done. Um, So just to summarize, gratitude is the practice of noticing and appreciating the positives around us. It's very powerful emotion that helps our brain to spot positives in our life. And it is highly beneficial for our happiness. Would you like to list a few benefits? Do you remember a few benefits that we spoke about? Oh God, the test, the test at the The end. The test is here. (laughs) Do I want to list some benefits? Low blood pressure, better sleep, happier. Oh, um, better managerial skills and better for relationships. What else is there? <laughs> That's perfect. That's, yeah, yeah, I think you, you got enough there. When practicing gratitude, we should watch out for our negativity bias. So our tendency to focus on negatives, habituation, as in desensitizing to things that we have every day. And the sense of entitlement, because these are the biggest obstacles for being grateful. And Kitty, you added one, which is maybe not feeling that you don't deserve things, therefore you don't feel grateful for them. Uh, But really, the biggest thing we can do is to just give ourselves a space to practice gratitude. The more often, the better benefits for our happiness. So let's go out and be grateful. So next week is the letter H. We are going to talk about habits. And Claudia, I dare you to change your habits. What are you going to do? I'm definitely going to concentrate on uh, waking up earlier because I have a quite nice morning routine, which includes exercise, meditation, and my morning pages. But the moment I start sleeping in and actually I don't really, I don't know, I shouldn't get up, etc. Then that routine gets taken away. So I'm going to work on waking up earlier to make sure that I can do those three things. Kitty, what about you? What new habit are you going to develop next week? I am going to read every morning for half an hour before I get up out of bed just reach over turn the side light on get a book put a timer on lovely so two habits we'll see how it goes the bottom line is our habitual behaviors can help us to increase or decrease our happiness see you next time and in meantime be happy be grateful Remember to rate and review us and click subscribe and this week just tell one person about our podcast and get them to listen in as well. Okay, see you next time and we dare you to be happy. Be happy. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. <laughs>